So here we've got a Microsoft Forms Pro survey and this is basically requesting feedback from an event that's happened. So if we send this out, we're going to be sending out using a link to get some responses, that's going to create an anonymous survey response. So when it comes back through and we look in the view responses area, it means there will be no name link to it, there'll be no email address link to it, it's basically anonymous, we, we don't have a record for that person. However, what we can do is we can use Microsoft Flow to use the tr the trigger of when this survey response comes back into CDS and actually use that to create the contact and then link the survey response to the contact so that we can see the journey for this customer or the prospect right from the very beginning rather than having these anonymous survey responses kind of hanging out there. So let's go ahead and we'll have a look at how to do that. So we've got our um, event feedback survey we're going to go to Microsoft Flow and we're going to create a new one and we're going to create it automated from blank. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give the flow a name. So we'll say create contact, if I can type, contact from survey response. Okay and we're going to choose the flows trigger and the trigger is going to be when that survey response has been created. So that's in common data service and if we type in common um, we'll see these are the options that are coming up and we're going to use when a record is created. So we've given it a name, we've chosen the trigger and we'll go ahead and click create. Okay so I'm going to first of all just rename this trigger um, just so that we can see exactly what it is. So we're going to say survey response received. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll pick the environment. So we'll use a sandbox and this is going to be the entity is going to be the survey responses. Okay, so that's the one we're going to pick and the scope is going to be organization. So the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and pick a Microsoft Forms action even though you're using Forms Pro, it's there's still the action at the minute is because it's used by both Forms and Forms Pro, that's what you're going to be um, looking for. So if I go ahead and add a new step and I just type in Forms, you'll see that there's the option for Microsoft Forms and Forms Pro. Forms Pro at the moment, um, this is to send a survey. So you can see that we don't want that one. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that and we'll go back to the the older forms or the original or classic, whatever you want to call it. And we'll see there that the action we've got here is we're going to get the response details. Okay. So we are going to um, leave the, the name, get response details. That makes sense. That's fine. We're going to pick the form ID and the form we want is this event feedback form. So the response ID, this is where we're going to use something um, a little bit different. We actually have to put in an expression for this rather than just getting an ID from this first step. We're going to go to expression and what we're going to be using is this um, uh, trigger body, this is basically going to allow us to pass through this into a format that is it's able to understand and the field that we're going to use is this msfp underscore source response identifier, that's what we're going to use. So we put that in the expression field and then click OK. Now we've got the trigger of when the response is received, we're then going to get the details of the response. What this step is going to allow us to do is actually get those um, question responses so we can then go ahead and actually create the contact record or, or lead record, whatever it is that you want to create. So we'll add the next step and again we're going to go for the common data service and we are going to do create a new record. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create, in this um, scenario, we're going to go ahead and create a contact. So this is um, obviously depends totally on, on your um, business process, whether you are wanting to create a lead first of all, whether you're going to go straight to a contact, whatever it might be. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a contact record. Okay, so with this, if I go ahead and click in the last name field, what you'll see is now I have this get, get response details. I have the ability to go ahead and get access to all of those questions that I have in the survey and populate them into fields. So 
if you're going to have these surveys that are going to be um, sent out using links or using a QR code, in other words, it's not triggered from a record that's already in CDS, then you're going to go ahead and make sure on those surveys you ask first name, last name and email address at least so that you can create that. So I'm going to go ahead, click on the last name to add into the last name field. I'm going to go ahead and add the email address because I asked for that. And I'm also going to go ahead and put in the first name because I asked for that as well. If there are other questions you're asking in the survey, then obviously you can go ahead and populate fields if they exist. Um, otherwise, that's probably all you need at the moment to create that contact record. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll rename this and say create contact. OK. All right, so we've got that step finished and we'll go ahead and we're going to add another step and this one is going to be the final step to actually update the original survey response record that was received. So again, we're going to go with common data service and we are going to update a record. Okay, so again, we're going to pick the environment. We're going to go ahead and pick the entity of survey response and this time the record identifier, a survey response, is actually an activity record that's created. So the survey identifier is that activity, unique identifier of that activity, um, survey response activity. Now, when an anonymous survey response is received at the moment, that doesn't come with a sub through with a subject um, or if it's a, if um, if there's a subject, it obviously might be fairly generic and not what you want. So you might want to give this um, a specific name. So I might say um, event feedback and then maybe after that I'll put the full name of the contact that I've created. So that way if I'm looking at a list of survey responses, um, I see something that um, is, is a little bit more informative um, from the subject of that record. So I'm going to go ahead and let's look at some advanced options. There's a couple of other things that I'm going to need to do. So to truly link this, we need to set a couple of other fields. So if I scroll down, we have the respondent. So this is the name of the person that is actually filled out the survey. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the full name into the respondent. And then we have the respondent's email address. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in. Okay, and then we'll scroll down a bit further and here we have regarding and the regarding is going to be the contact, that unique identifier. And then we need to put in what the regarding type is and obviously for this it is contacts. All right, so now we've got all of our steps. I go ahead and I will save this. Perfect. Okay. So we can see now we've got our flow. It hasn't been run yet. So now let's go ahead and let's fill out this survey. So we're completing the fields. Obviously, we can see there that's that first name, last name and email. That's what's going to be used to actually create that contact record. And then we'll go ahead and fill out some information. How satisfied were you with the event? Somewhat satisfied. Any suggestions? Yes. Make sure um, presentations run on time. It went over a lot. What did you like most about the event? Um, one of the speakers was fantastic and what did you like least about the event it was too long whatever that might be um, and then we've got a net promoter score in here we'll go ahead and we'll fill this out um, and give a reason why and then we'll go ahead and submit it okay so we can see the responses submitted um, that person hasn't already been um, wasn't already in our CDS um, environment it wasn't in Dynamics 365 CE so hopefully if we now go into this and this is um, hoping that the um, the demo gods are on my side if I go to my list and refresh this perfect so we can see Emma Jackson is in our system if I then go ahead and open up her record and I look at the summary, I'm going to look at this, um, the social pane with the activity wall, we can see that the record, the contact record was created and there we've got that survey response with the subject of event feedback hyphen name. So if I go ahead and click into that, 
we can see the regarding field is set to Emma Jackson to that contact record and if I go to the related entities from the survey response we can see the survey question responses and here we can see all of the questions with all of the responses that were given. If I go back into flow and I go to the the run history, let's go back, there we go, we can see that it's run once and it was successful and obviously all steps were completed, you can see by the green tick marks. So hopefully that helps, this is not going to be something that you would need to be setting up for every single survey because some of your surveys obviously you would trigger from an action that occurs within Dynamics 365 customer engagement, so the closer, closure of a case um, or maybe the completion of an order or winning an opportunity, whatever it might be, those things will be triggered already to where you can pass through those parameters into the regarding field um, or into the respondents fields, that sort of thing. But this gives you a way to be able to send out anonymous survey links, get that feedback and then create a contact or a lead record for the first time and link the survey back to that new record. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.